Okay friends, let's see today's delicious kokada recipe. It's really really simple. Just two or three ingredients. So now first I'm going to get my tender coconut ready. So I go to my coconut guy and I ask him just to give me the best coconut that he has with a lot of malai in it. Now if you have your own coconut trees then you know uh, you know how to cut a tender coconut. So basically you got to get a really lovely malai from the tender coconut. And don't waste the water the water is also delicious. So I was just taking a clip of my regular coconut guy uh cutting the tender coconut especially for people in Mumbai <laughs> who don't really have access to coconut trees. So write down in the comments I would love to know whether you have your own tender coconut trees at home and you know that's really a big blessing. So now I just asked him to get the water off and then to cut the coconut in such a way that I can easily scoop out uh you know the tender part of the coconut. So now I got the coconut home and I gave it a thorough wash in my colander and then I'm just going to cut it up into strips <clears throat> because generally this kokada is in strips so I'm making it a little smaller take a nice sharp knife and uh, I got about a cup of tender coconut so now I'm going to prepare my sugar syrups. So I've taken one cup of uh, regular sugar to which I'm going to add about half a cup of water and I'm going to mix this really well together on a low to medium heat stirring continuously. Now we don't want to make a very thick sh a sugar syrup or a pak like we would for gulab jam. We just want to stir it till it starts to thicken. So I put a timer on my phone and it took me about three minutes. Once it starts to thicken just add this tender coconut that we've cut up. And I'm going to cook this on a low to medium flame, stirring continuously. And you will see after about a minute or two, it starts bubbling into this white kind of a liquid. And just keep on cooking it till, you know, most of the liquid is absorbed. And now I'm just going to add a little bit of food color. Now this is completely optional. The reason I'm adding food color is that I don't, I did not get my hands on colored wax paper. So I'm just using regular butter paper that I have. So if you can uh, get, you know, colored wax paper, then you can leave it white. That's how it is traditionally eaten. I mean, uh, that's how it looks traditionally, but I do not have colored paper. So I went with pink gel color. So this is how it looks. So when it comes to this stage, turn off the heat because it will crystallize immediately. So don't try to dry it up too much. It should be of this semi-solid gel kind of a, you know, consistency. And then you're just going to transfer this uh, onto the butter paper or the wax paper if you get your hands on it. And let it cool down completely. So I just put it in a bowl so that I don't mess up the place. And I put the butter paper in the center. And I just put, you know, scoops full of it. And it crystallizes almost immediately. And after 5 minutes you can just enjoy this lovely, lovely sweet. So do try out this recipe. It is amazing. It's it's so so delicious. Everyone at home just loved it. I mean the tender coconut and the sugar syrup combination is just perfect and it's a melt in the mouth sweet. So I hope you like this recipe guys. I'll catch you soon. This is Akshita signing off. Bye. today's recipe as well as today's video and if you would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up also by, by clicking the thumbs up icon also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes once you have subscribed there is a small little bell icon that will pop up so just click on that that way whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video you get a message for the same so on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.